What's going on everyone? Zach here. Miles is actually up in the room, but I wanted to show you a little bit about how we go about doing this road trip that we're on. Uh, how we're selecting hotels, and then I think we're probably on more of like the vigilant end of the scale. Like I, I this is a bare hand, but I got a glove on the other one. Um, this is our caddy with all sorts of cleaning materials to do our laundry and everything. We're gonna take this upstairs, and then I'm gonna show you how we go about cleaning the unit, why we're selecting specific hotels. If this is something that you guys are thinking about doing during this time, like we are doing it to visit uh, some family, uh, to just go across the country a little bit. But I thought this might be helpful. This is how we're going about doing it. Uh, let's pop up to the room. We're at a Hyatt house. Uh, I'll show you what, what that's kind of about. Uh, we've been looking at sort of Hyatt house, Hyatt places. But anyways, we've been off on the road. We've driven a long ways in the last few days. And I thought this might be helpful because I think road trips are gonna be a big part of our lives here for the near future. I hope this is helpful. Let's go check it out. So now we're inside. This is a, this is a Hyatt house and we've already cleaned this this actual room, but I wanted to walk you through exactly how we have sort of strategized to do it, some mistakes that we made, and maybe how it might actually help you. So our biggest attention is to any anything that we think that we're gonna actually use the handles, and then we, we clean every single surface, except for the fabric surfaces, obviously like couches and stuff like that, we can't really do anything. But the nice thing about a place like a Hyatt house, as you can see it has a, this is a full kitchen. I mean, there's a stove top here, microwave <clears throat> this is full of glassware and uh, plates and silverware and everything dishwashers over here there's actually a refrigerator so when we first get in we we've, we've been able to consolidate our entire process into one large i think it's from is it rothy's is that what it's from so like one rothy's bag we then take things out of our cleaning caddy we basically enter with both of us have one backpack and then this big Rothy's bag. And then when we're going to be in a place for longer than a day, we're able to reconsolidate that bag, take dirty clothes out or like switch it up. And if we're going to stay for two or three days, we can bring in a larger suitcase. But essentially like this is what we're coming into it with. Like a bag of masks, uh, our gloves to clean things with. Clorox wipes have been amazing. We also brought Clorox bleach uh, as a spray to clay down surfaces. But like when we come into the apartment uh, or into, into the unit, we basically come in and we clean one surface off and we put our stuff that's from the car basically on that surface. And then we'll start going around and cleaning all the surfaces, but also things to like make sure that you're paying attention to uh, like you can see like next to the fridge here are where you'd plug in like your your power strip or your USB cables um, And it's really nice to have a refrigerator and stuff like that when you open them I would suggest taking one of these Clorox, wi Clorox wipes and just wiping down the inside especially where you're gonna set drinks. I think We're like on the vigilant scale of these things. I see a lot of people like they're not wearing gloves around doing any of this stuff um, but I just don't know that the research is really out there at this stage. We don't know how much you can get off of surfaces and it's just better safe than sorry. And I think that we're just still, we were like hyper vigilant. So we go over like all these surfaces, anywhere that we think that we may actually touch, we're taking a wipe. And then we also have these wipes that we got, um, like from Kroger or whatever, like a long, long time ago. Um, so we go over all this stuff. We also make sure that we're like going over the phones, the light switches. These are things that like we picked up, like when we first started doing this, we we're taking like this whole caddy in. We we're taking like the whole big suitcase in. And I think it becomes really difficult to make sure that you're cleaning all the surfaces. So I would really, if you're going to go on a really large road trip, you know, you're gonna clean, you wanna make sure like you're cleaning where you're going to be changing the temperature. Like these are all things that we miss the first time, light switches the back of the, the bed on the headboard of the bed. When you're looking at the TV like on this, it's like we have gone around the entire TV because it's like we know like we're gonna take this and swivel it to watch it in bed. So it's like when I grab this, I know it's been cleaned. And I'm sure like the hotel staff, there are signs everywhere that they are going in and they're cleaning everything more probably than they used to. But again, we're just hyper vigilant and a little bit anal about it. Uh, the same thing like when you get to like the side of the bed. Any of these switches, the lamps, a lot of this stuff, we just forgot about the first time. It's like, oh, you're gonna hit the switches. 
but then you forget, oh, wait a minute, like, well, what if I needed to get into the closet? And so the closet handle. Um, you can see this is the bag that I was actually talking about. So we're basically walking into a hotel now with this bag. So you can see it's not really that large. This has at least two days of clothes for both of us, like change of underwear and socks, and some treats for Maggie, a little bowl for water for her. Um, and we come in and we wipe down the service to like immediately get it down. And then like this, it's like you, you don't think, oh, I'm gonna be closing these doors and touching this stuff, but you do. We also, uh, I showed you the paper towels. We don't use any of the toilet paper. So like we're coming in and out of these places with our own roll of toilet paper. We're cleaning this down before we actually set toilet paper. So we're cleaning toilets basically every single time. The same thing in the bathroom. It's like, I'm not using a, a large dop kit. I have a large dop kit, but it's in my, well, in a large suitcase that we're actually sharing. And then I rotate in, in and out of like a, this is a, a business class, American business class, amenity kits. Same thing with like contacts. I have like a month and a half supply of contacts. I put it into a small plastic bag. We have boxes of Ziploc bags that we brought. We have garbage bags that we brought. So we're just rotating everything in and out. And Elizabeth is actually in the shower right now. And this was another thing that like we just forgot to do is that you're gonna touch these things. We don't necessarily clean the bottom of the shower because it's gonna be filled with like soapy water. But when we first get here, it's like we step in, we clean the entire, uh, you know, like the handles, where we're gonna touch to turn the shower on and off. That's how we're basically going in and doing everything. It's being hyper vigilant about the surfaces that we think we're going to touch. And I think it was on our first or second hotel, like we just forgot like the headboard and then suddenly you realize, oh my gosh, well that's where I put my head and then I'm gonna snuggle up on a pillow and you could just transfer surface over. That's also where people might sneeze or cough. Um, we haven't brought our own sheets, but that's the one thing that we're just, we're just dealing with. But otherwise, that's kind of our routine every single time now. And we've been really, really good at consolidating everything. So this is our, this is basically our kit plus a roll of toilet paper. This all goes into that big Rothy's. And then if we were to run out of this, we'd put a backup. And if we run out of all the wipes, we can just do paper towel with this. And we've got like six rolls of toilet paper in the car as well. Another thing that we do, we typically put these masks on the dashboard to let light, um, we just read reports that sunlight is killing uh, COVID, doesn't last for very long in the sunlight. So we're just taking our, you know, like when we're driving in the car and talking, we stick these up on the dashboard to help. And then uh, we've got four of them here that we're rotating in and out. We typically leave our shoes and everything here. I have my shoes on right now, so I'll take them off. Um, that's basically what we're doing. And we've been picking this, these places like Hyatt House and Hyatt Place that are lower down. Um, you'll see them across the country, but we've been trying to find places that have uh, something that, like if we wanted to like make some pasta, we could, we could heat some things up because we actually brought some of that food along as well. We could, you know, heat things in the microwave. Like we've gotten takeout food and for, was it four months, Bob? We didn't eat any takeout food. So if we get it, we can stick it in the microwave for 45 seconds or a minute or something like that, thinking that might help uh, kill anything that might be there. But we've really enjoyed having this little bit of space. This is a Studio King, and you can see that it has this big, nice workspace. And it's also great for like just putting our things out. And then we're at this one for longer than a night. And so what we've been able to do is bring up some of the equipment. Lil, today is when Lil will actually be doing her live uh, for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So when you're watching that, that was last night. And it was an amazing episode. And uh, we can bring that up and then we can reconsolidate everything. And so then that allows, if you're spending two, three, four nights in a place, great. Like you can bring up the things and, and, re, and reshuffle. If not, we use the backpacks to put things that are valuable in it that we don't want to be left in the car, put those in there, put the things that we know that we're going to use and then rotate in and out of that Rothy. So that's basically how we're doing it. We're gonna develop some more tips and tricks like as we go on. We learned a lot from the first couple of nights in terms of how much stuff we actually need to bring in. Like, I think the first night we brought in so much stuff and it just became really difficult to try and wipe it down and keep it from touching other things. And Elizabeth actually had a great idea, like let's just consolidate it. And that's what we've done. And just, we have a little bit of stuff. We, get, we hit all the areas of the hotel that we think that we're going to use and like 
we're not going to use a dishwasher so we don't wipe that stuff down but these hyatt houses these hyatt places we've even stayed in um some of the the line within hilton uh, homewood suites spring hill suites like these hotels they're all across the country and if you can find the newer ones this place is amazing and we're spending like i think it's 120 dollars or 118 dollars or something for the night i mean like look at the tv it's it's huge it rotates like it's just it's a really great use of space and we're figuring out a way to do it i hope this helps we'll keep you up to date on what we learn in the future thank you for watching like subscribe yeah.